61 News at 10 begins right now. Imagine going under the knife only to wake up in the middle of the procedure. It happens a lot more often than you might think. Next in special assignment, what some Connecticut doctors are doing to make sure your next surgery is pain free. We're going beyond the headlines now with special assignment and the terrifying possibility of waking up during surgery. It is more common than you might think. 40,000 patients wake up during surgery every year. With a growing trend of doctors opting to perform surgeries in their office as opposed to the hospital, there are some things you should know before going under the knife. Fox 61's Katisha Cosley takes us into the operating room for the story. In the operating room at the retreat at Split Rock Spa in Wilton, Dr. Neil Gordon performs a rhinoplasty or nose job on a patient. While he probably has the hardest job in the room, he says the most comforting thing is knowing his anesthesiologist will be by his side the entire time. It would be very difficult for me to concentrate on my work and monitor a lot of the subtleties that go into making a patient's experience consistent and safe. Like many physicians, Dr. Gordon performs surgeries in his office. He says the question of going under is always his patient's primary concern. My practice is purely elective procedures. Nobody needs what I do. So safety is the paramount issue, and it's the first, second, and third issue in discussing any procedure with a patient. Dr. Robert Goldstein, owner of Somnia, an anesthesia service provider, says awareness happens about 100 times a day in the U.S. His company has never had this happen, but he says this scary experience usually occurs in high-risk patients, oftentimes in trauma cases. It can also be the result of equipment malfunctions or inexperience. Before undergoing surgery, Dr. Goldstein says you want to make sure you're at an accredited facility. He also says make sure the physician is board certified in in the doctor's field of specialty and make sure there's an anesthesiologist on hand during the entire procedure. Believe it or not, one of the problems historically in office-based and ambulatory surgery was whether or not there would be an anesthesiologist present to provide care to them. In some cases, surgeons were giving their own anesthesia. Uh, in some cases, they, weren't an they were getting anesthesia from a, from a nurse. Dr. Goldstein says patients should also inquire about the type of drugs they will be given. He says some muscle relaxers can make it impossible to tell if a person is awake. He says to ensure your safety, the bottom line, ask plenty of questions. In Wilton, Katisha Cosley, Fox 61 News at 10. Dr. Goldstein says patients should also ask these same questions when undergoing surgery in a hospital. There are new methods being developed to measure brain activity while unconscious. These devices may help prevent and detect anesthesia awareness in high-risk patients.